What's up guys and welcome. Today we're going to talk about why I chose the Panasonic EVA1. My name is Mario by the way. If you guys have not been here then consider subscribing because right here we're going to talk about all these dope things and try to give you guys key things in filmmaking, photography and whatnot. But today we're just going to talk about why I chose the Panasonic EVA1. So let's go. All right, to start things off, this cinema camera is really, really light. It doesn't weigh anything. You can definitely shoot for extended periods of hours and it's not gonna affect your lower back, your arms. Another reason why I like this camera so much is because it's easy to break down. The way I designed it is everything's basically on the handle. So you can basically just tear that handle out, the side handle, remove that out as well. And then after that, you basically got the raw, just the camera itself. So it's easy to just go ahead and just Put on a gimbal or on a steady cam, whatever it is you want to put it on, balance it and you're good to start shooting. And the fact that you can balance this camera on a Ronin M or the Crane 3 in these type of gimbals, that was key for me to even buy this because for me, I did not want to buy the Ronin. I did not want to buy some heavy, more expensive gimbal to be able to handle this. So the fact that I already have the gimbals for it, just allow me to save money. It has 14 stops of dynamic range, so dynamic range is good. You can, you can definitely have flexibility with the highlights and the shadows. And it's a big difference. Me coming from a GH5, it was just, it was a no brainer once I tried it out and I went outdoors and just started testing it out. And the EVA1 is not that big, it's pretty small. It is the size of it. I don't think it's big at all. It's pretty small if you ask me, but I mean, I'll let you guys decide this. This is with a full rig in a way. This is, that's the way I have it rigged up. The color science on this camera is so beautiful. I love the skin tones. I just love overall the image that it produces. I'm no colors by any means, so I just found like Panasonic just kept me in that game in terms of being able to produce a high image, the Canon EF mount. That was another key thing. It, I already have all Sigma art lenses, so, and they're all for a Canon EF mount. So the fact that the that Panasonic decided to do that was just another key thing. I didn't have to buy an adapter. So now I can run my whole Sigma lineup through there and be able to use it just Plug, play, let's go out and shoot. So that was, I love that. It has dual native ISO, it has 800 and then it has 2500. So it definitely, you're able to get the most dynamic range within those two. The price, it's only 6,500. Can you get anything better than that? It has electronic image stabilization as well. The one thing about this camera is very underrated in terms of the low light. People say it's not the greatest. And uh, I think that's a real, a big lie because I've used it at 16,000 ISO. No need video, no noise reduction, nothing like that, and it was usable. Just to make sure on, in the noise reduction setting, make sure you guys put smooth when you go up to 16,000 ISO, and you guys will know what I mean. Another thing is the ND filters. The fact that it's internally in the camera, you no longer need to buy very well ND filters or bring them on set with you. The audio part is also great on this camera. If you bring a high quality microphone like the Sennheiser, like the one that I have, and then you bring the XLR with it, you can sync in audio within the same video so it's your workflow for editing is going to be a lot faster because now it's just a video file and a high quality audio file so you no longer have to bring in an external recording monitor another thing i like about this camera is they really made it easy to use the first time i grabbed it before i even purchased it which made me want to buy it as well is the settings that it has on the side is pretty much self-explanatory. If you look at the side, all the buttons have basically what they do. What I love about this camera that the GH5 did not have and made me want to purchase this camera is it shoots 24 frames per second, 4K at 10 bit internal, 400 megabits. The same as the GH5, but with this camera, it also offers the 4K 60 frames per second internal 10 bit. So I don't have to bring an external. I can record everything internal. So I love that and the fact that I can shoot 120 frames per second at 2K, it's just a game changer. And I also have the option of recording external 5.7K ProRes RAW with the Automa Shogun. So the fact that I have those options is something that caught my attention and made me want to get the Panasonic EVA1. And the last thing that won me on this camera was the quick switch that they added with their firmware 3.0 update. And by that I mean before from, to change from 24 frames per second to 60 frames per second, you had to go through so much on the menu system just to change it. Now you basically press one button and then you just scroll down to whatever frame rate you want and just like that, bam, you're on to the next frame rate. That's key. I did not, I was not gonna buy that camera 
for that problem. But the fact that I found a video and, and they stated with that new firmware update, you can change it and you have the quick switch. That was the game changer. That was the final and that was the I'm buying this camera. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment. I'm going to, as I mentioned, I'm going to display a lot more videos from this camera right now i'm just still you know basically building up footage so when i bring out the next video you guys are about to see the footage that i'm able to get out of this camera so just stay tuned i'll be back but for now make sure you guys like this video and subscribe because i mean this is a new channel we're gonna build this we're gonna create something we're gonna eat you know what I, it's funny is i recorded this video just about 30 minutes ago and when I exported it and I was trying to it, it froze I don't know something happened with the SD card so I had to film this again but on the previous video I was eating donuts I was just enjoying myself talking with you guys and this camera just ruined everything with the SD card so now there's there's no donuts for you guys but you know I was gonna share some but now you know there's no donuts anyways guys I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Um, comment by that, I mean, ask me questions, man. Let's let's get some things going. Let's just talk and let's just interact. And, you know, tell me why you guys don't like the Panasonic EV-1. I mean, you know, everyone has their own preference in terms of cameras. So just let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys. You're making